everybody and welcome to my channel Lady T's Things That Bling DIY videos. Today I am going to be straightening up one part of my craft room and that is the desk drawer. It is junky. It is junky. It is junky. That whole desk needs to be redone but right now I'm just going to be focusing on the drawer. How many of you have a junk drawer in your house? You just throw stuff in there because you don't know what else to do with it. Well, frankly, I am sick of myself throwing stuff in a the drawer. Then when I want to look for something, I can't find it because it's a multitude of things in the drawer. Do you see me pulling out all of that stuff? Why? Why, Teresa? Why? Well, today I've had enough. Now, sorry about that delay, but I was trying to get something to wipe out the drawer with. And it is 6 o'clock in the morning here in snowy Philadelphia. Well, you can see I got this plaque from the Dollar Tree. I got a twofer. I can use it for something else. Most of the time when I get something from Dollar Tree, it doesn't, it's not used for its purpose. <laughs> so I took it apart and I love those little galvanized hearts. So I'm trying to take them off with my fingernails and I can't do it. Just pop them on off then with my epoxy stirrer. And you know, when, most of the stuff you get from Dollar Tree, you can pop it off easily. So, And right there, I should have taken off those... Uh, clips those staples but I didn't I actually took them off later so you can see this almost a perfect fit but I have to cut it a little bit because I don't want it to be bowed I want the slats to be just right and these are made out of particle board I believe and most of the stuff you see me using I got from the Dollar Tree I got of course the plaques from Dollar Tree. I got that ruler I'm using from Dollar Tree. I got that uh, marker, that Sharpie from Dollar Tree. I remember when Dollar Tree used to sell fake Sharpies. They used to call them Sharpo. And I, I looked at it when I got home. I was like, Sharpo? But these are really Sharpies. And no, I shouldn't be trying to score it on the drawer, but if I turned the camera around and you saw what was going on in my office, you'd be like, oh, I see why. So see how that little bit helped. Just a little bit. I'm trying to make sure I take off enough, but not too much. And I thank God that I didn't do it hard enough that I could actually cut myself. As you see how that knife is sliding off of that board? That's why that wasn't smart. But thank God I didn't get cut. I could have scored it a little bit more to make it easier for me to break that piece off. But baby, when I tell you it's 6 o'clock in the morning and I'm tired... Since I've been up since four. So I decided to cover the slats. And I'm using this vinyl that I really don't use. Um, just to cover it because it looked kind of whack. When I put it in there. So. For some reason. I put the stuff back in the drawer. Because I think I was going to do a before and after picture. So if you're wondering, well, how in the world does this stuff get back in the drawer? I was trying to take a before and after picture. So I don't do things in order. I'm, my mind doesn't work like that. <laughs> so, bear with me. I'm cutting the sides. The, cutting the corners so it'll be easier for me to fold this down. Because actually, 
if you look over to the left when I move my arm you can see that the other board is already covered but I made a mistake on that board so you're gonna see me redo the board because even though these are slats and they're just going in a drawer they don't need to be looking all crazy and the first one that I did it was all bubbly and looking all nuts so I just said let me do it again and I do like to leave my mistakes on there Oh, you can see that this you can see what's on the other side of that through the vinyl but that to me that doesn't matter I didn't feel like doing all that trying to scrape it off and all of that it's just gonna be in the drawer so if it was something that was gonna be out in the open I would have done a better job at doing that or put something over top of it but it's just going in the drawer I'm just showing you guys this as a you know maybe you have a junk drawer and you want to um, organize your junk drawer I'm just here to show you what I'm doing and maybe you can do something um, better than this and show me more than one way to skin a potato my little raggedy scissors they came from the dollar store too now the vinyl came from Amazon so that's one thing in here that I'm using that is not from the Dollar Tree. This came from Amazon. Now I've taken the vinyl. I took the previous vinyl off and it stripped uh, what was on the front of there. So that's cool though. Because when I put it on there, it was so wrinkled on the front side. It was horrible. And then those staples that I was talking about earlier, I should have taken them out beforehand. But I didn't really think they were going to be a problem. So I left them in. But if you guys are doing this, make sure you take everything off of there that you can. And yes, it's a junk drawer, but I can't take it with the staples. Okay. I'm just repeating the steps that I did with the first one, which was actually the second one because this was the first one, but I messed it up. <laughs> it's too early, y'all. I need to go back to sleep. So, I shouldn't have had to cut that off, but because I'm not good at mitering edges, I just did it my way and cut it off. Don't judge me. And they are a little warped, but why did I put this part in there? Who knows? So now I'm taking the stuff back out the drawer. I did that because I wanted to do a before and after picture, so. Ooh. Okay, so now we're putting the slats in. And again, no one's going to see that. And I did not have enough vinyl to cover the front and the back, so I just chose to do one side. And you can see they, fit, they still fit snug. They are a little bowed, but they fit snug. They both because I tried to put it in there first before I actually cut it down a little bit. So here we go. Organizing cords. I don't even know what those cords belong to. I think one of them belongs to my scale. The other one, I don't know. 
I have glue galore and it's not just in that drawer I have another drawer with glue because I hate running out of stuff as you can see I have multiple rolls of tape why because for real for real I have double-sided tape in there I have that packaging tape that you just saw and I have regular tape and I got the tape from Dollar Tree mm -hmm. I got that lint roll from Dollar Tree so I'm putting tools in the right I'm putting tape in the middle and glue on the other side now because I've done this to the drawer I don't have a place for my ruler and those squares I don't even know why I put those in there those squares go with my jewelry so when I'm beading I can pick up my beads that's what that is so I have screws screwdrivers those are um, stick pins and tacks that I put in there those are the things that you put on top of the glue to make you make it come out easier and straight so I went from this mess to this nice organized drawer as you can see on the left I have to still do more organizing but I just wanted to share this with you today so you have a blessed day Make sure you stay safe. Anyway, if you watch this, subscribe to the channel.